Hello, my name is Solomon and I will talk to you today about Excel timelines. A timeline is a type of chart which visually shows a series of events in chronological order or a linear time scale. The power of a timeline is that it is graphical, which makes it easy to understand critical milestones such as progress of a project schedule. Timeline itself are particularly powerful for project scheduling or project management when paired with a canned chart. Let me show you how it works. This is a good example of a timeline that you can see on your screen. So let me show you how we can make our own timelines and see how it works with Excel. So I have a raw data over here, which have invoices and some of the currencies and values, and of course the numbers of the invoices. So what I'm interested in is this, when these invoices were paid, and I wanted to see the trend in a graphical form. So it can be anything, it can be yearly, it can be quarterly, it can be monthly, it can be anything. So I want to see it in a different format, in a better visual formation, I'll say. So this data at the moment is not that visual. So first of all, I select the data and I go to insert and I will recommend one of the favorite tables for myself, which definitely I didn't like. So I will change the formation um, of the columns. So I'll take the date page and now you see it's pretty much like this fragmented and I cannot really get into one of the month or quarter or year so I really need to get it in a very um, shaped kind of situation so let's go and see how it works for us so I'll go to insert and on the corner close to the sparklines that we learned last time uh, we have timeline so I'll click the timeline uh, the date paid and I'll select OK so now magic happens and I'll see over here date paid is in a um, kind of periodic form which is quite useful for me, but definitely I would like to change the formation, for example, to quarter, for example, to years, or for example, to, to days even. So you can see the daily um, formation. So I'll go for the quarters, for example, or the year, let's say. And this is 2015 payments identified as well over here. So you can see uh, how it works for me. I can see my years. I can just click and I can see my 2014. So it's rather advanced form of timeline and filters mixed up. And I can take a like like four quarters together so my four quarters performance over here for the collections is uh, appearing on the left side where i can i can choose any any sort of formation and make any sort of combination uh, for the visual display of the data so now you can see a monthly or this is a quarterly formation and i can drag and drop the shape of the timeline according to my own choice there are some timeline tools as well in the options i can go and i can select any other color this is a little bit more uh, i'll say decent color showing up over there so i can see it in a different format i'll make it a little bigger for you to see um, in a better way there you can see now it's a, it's a better representation of your data from quarter t to quarter 2 2016 this is the data connection that shows the report so I will definitely be interested in changing the name of the file or the title at the top. So I will change it to the payment trend, for example. And now you see it's changed here. So this is how you can change the title of the trend as well. And of course, you can select any, any quarter of your choice. You can also play with the size of this particular timeline accordingly on the extreme right side of the same panel. There you have headers, you can remove them. You have selection label, you can remove it. Um, you can even remove the scroll bar so you can make it more simplified or time level from it so you can make one time level and then remove it from the display so there you go this is the show um, table I'll say and from here you can adjust the height or the width of your table or the trend that you have down there so you can change it from here manually as well or you can make it fit to a specific sign then you have grids you can view the grids and these are some of the options that can be very useful. For example, the pane uh, for the objects that you can have on your right side for the selections to make it easier to select the objects um, and change the orders of the objects. So that's something that uh, you could see in the options over there. So this is how it works, guys. Um, it's pretty useful if you mix it with the Gantt chart, if you use it in, in a different way. Now it's up to you how creatively you can add it up to your projects or your timelines. So this is a better representation, I'll say, of a data um, in, a, in a more organized way. I hope you enjoyed, guys, and looking forward to talk to you again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.